Do you want your serve to go from this to this? Well, I'm David. I'm Dean. Welcome to the Badminton Zone. Let's show you how. Arguably the most important shot in the game, the backhand serve can either get you on top of the rally or lose it for you. So what we're gonna do is take you through how to build a dangerous and reliable backhand serve. So Dean, where do we start? So everyone's backhand serve is different, but it's really important that they're consistent and reliable. We believe they're built on three fundamentals, grip, space, and tempo. Let's look at these in a bit more detail. So grip, what we're looking for for a backhand serve is to have our thumb on the fat part of the grip, running straight up the racket, turn the racket over, and as you can see, my wrist is now in the correct position. So space, what do we mean by that? We're trying to create a gap between our racket and our body, and this will allow us to have a powerful flick, but also a nice, smooth, low serve. So finally, tempo. A serve is a controlled push action which requires a smooth tempo. This will help you control the height and depth of the shuttle. So David, what are the mistakes we're seeing with people serving? So I think there are two big mistakes we see with people serving. Number one is a poor racket position and number two is just inconsistent setup. So what we normally see is people not making use of their height allowance. If you're not an international badminton tournament, this will be your bottom rib. So when you're going to serve, really make sure that you're really pushing that contact point right up to your bottom rib. The second biggest mistake we often see is an inconsistent setup leading to an inconsistent serving action. We want a serving action that is the same each time to make our serve reliable. So we've talked about how to serve, but where do we serve? Reasons you might serve to a T are, it's the shortest distance for the shuttle to travel, meaning less time for your opponent to react. They may be standing with a very heavy backhand grip and hard to change grips their forehand. Finally, your opponent may be standing too far out wide and giving you a lot of space to serve to the T. The main reasons you might serve across the opponent's body is they're not as strong as returning from the area. They're standing with a very heavy forehand grip making it hard for them to change onto their backhand, or they're standing too close to the tee, allowing space to serve across them. So, how do we actually change the direction of our serve? Well, there are three different ways I'm gonna take you through them. Way number one, and for me, this is the easiest. We're going to set up for your normal straight serve, turn your torso, and then still hit that straight serve in the direction you want to go. Way number two, we're gonna change the direction as we're serving. So we go to serve and turn as we're hitting the shuttle. Way number three, and for me, this is the most advanced way, we're actually gonna tilt the shuttle. So the shuttle will go in the direction it's tilted to. So if I want to serve out wide, I'll tilt the shuttle out wide and it will shoot off in that direction. So just to round up, the three fundamentals of a good backhand serve are grip, space, and tempo. And if you really want to take your serve to the next level, have a look at where your opponent is standing and adjust your serve accordingly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to see more great content like this, head over to our Instagram and give us a follow.